little human beans. So today I'm filming a haul video. As you can tell by the title, it is a huge Lush haul. I went to Lush the other day and spent pretty much £100 and I judged myself. I really did. As a lot of you guys know, I'm saving because I'm moving out soon. Um, but I had a moment of weakness and that moment of weakness really shook me. So thought I'd film a video and let you guys know about my moment of weakness. So I have a lot of different things. I have like some stuff in pots, I have some bath bombs, some some stuff. I don't know. I don't really shop at Lush very much. I probably have like two things from Lush. Apart from all this, I've probably been in Lush about five times, honestly. But because I'm moving, I'm gonna have a really nice bath in my new house. So I thought, you know what? Let's use that bath. Let's use it. Let's utilize what it's there for. I I'm really excited. I cannot wait to have a bath in my new house with all my new stuff. But I can't use any of it till I move, so that kind of sucks. But probably moving pretty soon. And I'm rambling, so let's just get into it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with the stuff in the pots first. I have this all lined up. Let's go. So the first thing I have here, this is a shampoo. I've never had a shampoo from Lush. The only things I've had from Lush is like a little jelly thing and two face masks. So this is new to me. So this is a sea salt shampoo and I really like the smell of it. It's like really kind of sweet and salty I don't know it smells really good I'm a fan of this and it does make your hair really big that's the like point of this shampoo it's called big um it says sea salt shampoo to give your hair a lift and volume make it easy to get a comb through it smells great for hours my hair is so soft after using this it is pretty big my hair looks so thick right now I absolutely love this and this was made by Aga so thank you so much Aga you're a great girl but yeah I absolutely love this. This stuff smells really good and all of this stuff is cruelty free which I absolutely love. I love the fact that everything from Lush is cruelty free. It just makes buying things so much more like beneficial to the world, you know what I mean? Like no one was hurt for this to be made so. I mean someone might like chop their finger while they were doing something but that was their fault because they were being clumsy but I love it. So this next thing here is called Dream Cream. Now this I got for my little sister. When I was in Lush, I went up to one of the lovely assistants. They're all so friendly in Lush. I don't know how you get that friendly, but they are. They're all like bouncy and like smiley and I could never do that job. But yeah, this is called Dream Cream. I went up to the woman. I was like, my little sister has really bad eczema. If you guys didn't know, I've got a little sister called Laura and she's got really bad eczema. And the woman was like showing me different things. She said there's like a few bath bombs. There's like... So when I was like a bath bomb she can only really use once. She doesn't really like washing with soap. She likes to use like a gel and like a loofah. She doesn't use like a bar of soap to wash. And then she showed me this and I was like, okay, this is good. So I got the biggest thing that they had. It was the 240 gram one. And this is hand and body lotion. It has oatmeal in it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has oat milk and oatmeal stuff in it. It's all like natural stuff. And she said this was actually made for people with psoriasis and like eczema and stuff like that. That's like the reason this was made. I can't open it. It's so hard to open these things. It doesn't smell fantastic. It smells like just like an unscented cream really. And I'm glad that it smells like it's unscented because anything scented is terrible on her skin. Like she can't use like the body shop stuff because you know, she has eczema. This is completely unscented, so this is going to be perfect for her. Next, I got this little dude. Well, actually, it's pretty big. It's 325 grams. Wow, heavy little thin. This is actually 325 grams, so it's not a little at all. But this is the Cup of Coffee face mask. You guys know I have this in a small size, and I absolutely love it. It makes my skin feel amazing. I'm not allergic to it. I'm allergic to a lot of face masks. This one's amazing. It smells like coffee, and a lot of people... Oh, I love the smell of this. A lot of people don't like the smell of this. I don't know how you couldn't like the smell of it. If you like coffee, you'll love this. Honestly, I put this on my face and I drink coffee while I'm wearing this and I'm just like... <sighs> it's good. The last thing that I got in a pot is this. This is the Volcano Foot Mask. Um, it says, cover your feet in china clay, pumice, papaya and tomatoes and you'll soon be stepping out in style once more. I have really dry like heels and like a few dry patches on my feet which I really don't like. It really annoys me for some reason. Nobody sees my feet but me but you know it pisses me off. <laughs> but this, you're supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes 
and wrap them in like plastic like cling film I guess just so it doesn't dry out um, and then you take it off and your feet are supposed to be really really soft so I'm definitely going to be doing this as soon as I have finished filming this video it doesn't really smell like anything kind of smells like spices it kind of smells like pasta honestly <laughs> it kind of smells like pasta and it's just like a grey little thing you guys will see in the close up but I can't wait to use this my friend used it and it worked great on them so I'm sure it'll work great on me what should we move on to now? Should we do bath bombs next, or bath melts, or bubble bars? Oh, the choices. Should we go to bath bombs? I think we should. Okay, so I actually got the woman to put labels on everything that I got, so I didn't forget the names of it. So this is Avo Bath Bath Bomb. Avo Bath? Okay then. Let's have a look at this guy. So this is bluey green. Let's have a look. Huge bluey green bath bomb and it just smells fresh like it smells like I can't even I can't describe scents does it say anything on here nope it doesn't say what it smells like how do I describe this it smells lemony it smells zesty that's what this smells like it smells zesty very zesty very fresh a very very fresh scent the next bath bomb I got is this one. This is the Big Blue Bath Bomb. I only got three bath bombs. I thought I got a lot more than that. Okay. Oh dear, I've just ripped the bag. Okay, this is the Big Blue Bath Bomb. And it is very big, and it is very blue. Okay. It's huge. It's literally huge. Look at it. It's huge. And again, this is pretty fresh, pretty clean. I feel like I'm going to get in the bath and my body's just going to feel so clean when I get out. I absolutely love the look of this as well. I feel like it's going to make my bath look so cool. And there's like little, it looks like lavender maybe in it. I really like the look of this and I can't wait to use it. So this one is the Lava Lamp Bath Bomb. Let's have a look. I completely forgot what I've got, honestly. My memory's terrible. Ooh, this looks interesting. This is bright orange with little blue dots in it. And this is a very Beth scent. It smells like sweets. I really like sweet scents. These are the two were uh, like fresh, zesty scents. That kind of contradicts what I said, but I'm a very sweet scented person. Like, I don't know, if you gave me like cotton candy or like lemon zest to smell, I'd go for cotton candy every time. This is really sweet, really like, I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna smell so good for days after using this. And I have used a Lush Bath Bomb once, I think, and I remember I got out the bath and my entire body just felt like so soft and I just smelt like that bath bomb for days. Like I'd wash with different things and my body still smelt like that. Okay, let's go on to the Oh there's there's one more bath bomb I forgot about. This is the Ickle Bab Bot Ickle Baby Bot Bath Bomb. And I got this for Chuck, obviously. It is a little robot, which I think is so cute, and he loves it because it's blue and it's a robot, two of his favourite things. And he's going to have a bath with this tonight. I told him he couldn't use it yet because I had to film. He was really upset about that, but he's going to have a bath soon, so he can use it today. He absolutely loves these. He's had it before. Um, if you've got, like, little brothers or sisters, and I'm sure some of you guys probably have kids because, like, a lot of my audience is, like... 24 to 35 or something like that so I'm sure some of you guys have kids um this bath bomb is about three pounds and after he's used it he sleeps so well there's lavender in it and stuff like that so it just really helps him sleep the last time we had it he was out from like seven till nine the next morning so it's a good investment if you want a good night's sleep now onto these bath melt things so I'm pretty sure these you pop in the bath and then it just kind of like makes your body feel really smooth and satiny i don't know i don't know how it works this one here what's this it's the razzle dazzle bath melt and oh my goodness this is the stickiest thing i have ever touched in my entire life like look at this it is so how do i even get this out i am honestly confused it's so so sticky i'm gonna hold it in the paper because of how sticky it is but look at this, like it's pink and glittery. I've only been touching the paper and I've got pink glitter all over me. It's so squashy, like you can just mold this into whatever shape you want. I picked it up, I was like, oh my God, I can't get it off my fingers. Like I was trying to put it in the bag and they had to help me put it in the bag because I couldn't get it in the bag. This, I can't wait to use it. I know I'm gonna go in the bath. They probably melt or something. I don't know how, bath melts. 
yeah, they melt. Um, and I think they just make your skin really soft. I mean, like, just rubbing that into my fingers, they're just pink and glittery and soft. So, fingers crossed, that's how they work. I'm going to be glittery and silky. And I can't wait. It sounds like a fantastic experience, honestly, doesn't it? So much stuff everywhere. So this dude is the Floating Island Bath Melt. I've never seen these bath melts in Lush before. Are they new or is it just because I don't go to Lush? So let's have a look at this one. I didn't describe what that one smelled like either. Um, it kind of smells like cotton candy, I guess. So this one is the other one. It is the Floating Island Bath Melt. This is very sweet. It's got kind of florally undertones to it. Yeah, it kind of smells like, oh, have you guys had Palmer Violets? It kind of smells like a Palmer Violet, which is ironic because it's the opposite color, but it kind of smells like a Palmer Violet. And again, this is melting in my fingers, so I'm gonna pop it back in the bag. The last one I have, I am so excited to show you guys because I think this is my favorite out of all of them. It's called the Melting, that's how it's spelled on the bag, Melting Marshmallow Moment. And this is another bath melt. Rip it open, get it out. Okay, this is a very greasy little dude, just like the other two. But look how cute it is. It doesn't look like a marshmallow, but it still looks adorable. Oh my god. It smells like the, you know the lip scrub from Lush, the pink one? It smells like that. Like, exactly like that. If you got it, it smells exactly like that. I can't wait to use this. I'm so excited. It's literally melting in my fingers. Lush is so good. Why didn't I go there before this? Like, actually, I know why I didn't go there before this. Because I know that I'm going to spend all my money there. Like, I was in this shop for about 10 minutes, and I spent almost £100. I did get a lot of stuff, though, so that is decent. If I'd gone to Topshop, I would have got like three things. So, you know what? It's decent, it's decent. Okay, last things I've got to show you guys are some bubble bars. I don't know why, I like bubbles. I'm a big kid inside, honestly. This one is the Creamy Candy Bubble Bar. Let's have a look. I think this is the one with the flower on the top. This smells, this smells pretty much like that pink lip scrub again. I think it's a very similar scent. I'm not very good at describing things, but it's very, girly very well look at the color of it you can kind of guess what kind of smell it's going to be i like it it smells just like that um lip scrub what is it is it cotton candy i think it must be i love this i can't wait to use this i hope i smell like this when i get out the bath so i also got a little bubble bar and this is called bright side it's like i think this is the bright orange one yeah it is I saw this and I was just like sucked in. I don't think I even smelt this. It smells good. It smells like Fanta or Tango. Is that, I can't remember what it's called. Tango? Yeah, it smells like Tango. It's really good. It's kind of like the pink one. I got that one too that I'm showing you guys next. But it kind of looks the same as that. But they smell very, very different. It smells just like Tango, like orange Fanta. It smells just like that. And this is going to last me so long. Like, imagine how much you need to use in a bath. You probably need to use, like, one sixteenth of this in a bath. Like, this is going to last me so, so long. It's probably going to last me about four months. And I can't remember how much it was. I feel like it was, like, four pounds or something. And that's so good. Like, that's such good value for your dollar. Last thing I'll show you guys is another bubble bar. And this is the Comforter bubble bar. I feel like this is so famous. I've seen this in so many videos. Coming off. Little wrapper. How do I do this? Oh, here it is. Out it comes. Look how pretty. <sighs> this kind of smells like Palmer Violets too. This smells so good. I absolutely love this. Honestly, if you guys have never got something from Lush and you want to be safe with something, I know you're going to love this. Like, if you like taking baths, you're going to love this. It smells great. You're completely safe with it. It's four pounds. It's going to last you so long. So... You should definitely check this out. If you've never been to Lush before and you want to just see if you kind of like what they do, this is a great thing to start off with. Or maybe a face mask even. This or a face mask is definitely a great thing to start off with. So good. I'm going to smell so... I'm just going to use all of this in one go. Just put it all in the bath and just come out smelling like a freaking pixie or something. Like, honestly. Oh my god. So, yeah, that is everything I have to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the little 
on screen show you what I got thing. I feel like that's the best way to see things because when it's this far away you can't really see what I'm talking about so hopefully you guys like that. If you did like this video then be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me. We're trying to get to 125,000 subscribers right now so honestly that would be great if you could. Also I've cut my hair, I don't know if you guys can tell but like my hair is above my boobs now very short for me it's usually like past my butt honestly like midway down my butt this is a big big cut for me but i hope you guys like it i think i definitely prefer it to my long hair i feel like it suits me a lot better not today because i haven't really done it but when it's done it looks good i promise but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next video peace out Oh, it's all recording.